Hi, so here we are. We are almost at the end of the Wiki Education Project, and it has been a really interesting, exciting, a little bit of a roller coaster ride with a lot of things to think about and learn and do and put together. And last week we had peer reviews, and the ones I've read so far have been really good. I love the ones that go in depth that I can tell that you paid attention to the training on peer review. I can tell that you um, use the checklist that they had right there on the peer review page and that you really spent some time giving some really interesting, useful feedback to the different teams that you were assigned. So thank you so much for doing that. If you haven't gotten that part done yet, there's still time, like you're not going to get as much credit for it, but there is still time to get that in, but you have to do it like right away be so that the teams can actually use it as peer review, right? If you give them some great comments, but they've already made all their changes, I'm not going to make them go back and do more changes. So if you didn't do the peer review and you want to get it in, almost everybody did it. I was really impressed. Um, go ahead and do that. Get it in. So this is going to be an interesting two weeks because we have two different classes working on this project, and we've kind of been doing this piece of the project in parallel between the two classes. And what we're going to do this week and next week is I'm going to give you most of the content for both weeks. And because I want you to do a really good, solid wrap up on it next week, I'm not actually going to give pretty much anything else other than what I'll show you here in a few minutes. For the CIS 136 class, this is the end of the road. We've got some content this week, the class selected. I gave you guys a chance to vote and the voting turned out, I should have brought put the, the graph up. The voting turned out that I think it was 40 or 50% of the votes were for password power. So we're gonna look this week in 136 also at email and password power. And there's kind of an interesting assignment that goes along with that that will help you um, figure out if your password's been compromised or your email account's been compromised. So hopefully you'll find that really useful information. For the CIS 50 class, I still need to go through all of your discussions from last week. And so for this week, we're just going to focus on what we're doing here. We're just going to focus on getting this Wikipedia project finished up, tightened up, um, and submitted because this is the week that is kind of our final it's sort of our second to final chance to do any edits, to apply peer review, any of that stuff. So let me jump over, and I don't have a lot in Moodle. I've got a couple of things in Moodle, like the password powers in Moodle, but most everything we're doing is here in Wikipedia. So I'm just gonna focus on this. So if you want to see what um, reviews were given to you, Look up in this Articles I Will Create section. That's where you've been seeing your biography subject. You know, you've got your bibliography, you've got your sandbox, you've got your team members. And then here's a link to all the reviews. So if the reviews are in red, unfortunately, those haven't been done yet. But the reviews that are in blue, those are there for you to look at. And so um, take a look, make a list, and kind of say, well, here's all the things people suggested. Go take a look if they're easy to fix, jump in there and fix them. If you have any questions, ask them or ask me or ask, you know, Brand is actually out this week for most of the week until Thursday. So um, pretty much ask me or ask the people that did it if they'll give you some clarification. But by and large, just go in there and fix things. And Brianda gave some really, really good feedback on the teams that got posted last week. Several of the teams have already notified us that they got that done. So that's fantastic. That means there won't be as much to do this week. Anyhow, so this is a section where you're going to see this. But what I want to do is I want to come down here and I apologize in advance. This is a little bit of a messy section. But in week seven, there's a lot of blocks, okay, because I've added some things because I wanted you to know what the timeline looked like. And this is the important part, the timeline for the next two weeks, because our goal in the next two weeks, by the beginning of next week, is to get our articles moved to the main space of Wikipedia. This is the exciting part. And next week, I'll have a little bit of a video about what to expect on that, um, because sometimes they all love it and it goes great. And sometimes they kind of poke back a little bit and say, well, you know, this isn't quite ready. 
So hopefully all the hard work you do last week did last week and do this week in getting your peer reviews and updating things and paying attention to the formatting and all of that, hopefully that will all pay off and we'll get all of our biographies published. I would be so excited if all 10 of them got published. So this week, up through now till Thursday, that's when you take and apply the feedback. Okay, make the edit. Don't wait for other people in your team. Like if you can coordinate as a team, fantastic. But we're down to the wire now. So if some people aren't participating, just move forward anyhow. All right, your efforts will be acknowledged and rewarded um, for what you do here. Remember, on an individual basis. And then on Thursday, contact Rianda, submit the revised draft to her so she can hopefully give you a final stamp of approval or give you a couple of comments like, hey, maybe you should revise this or do, you know, just a few last minute things because she already did a pretty detailed review for everybody. So that's this week. That's our focus this week in the Wiki Education Project. Now, next week, once she gives you any final feedback, if there is anything, you have a couple of days to apply that. And um, if not, we're ready. Like if you make changes, let's run it by her again. But if there was no changes to be made and she said, go publish, then pay attention and go publish. Just go do it. Um, and I'll show you something on that in just a minute. And then once it's approved, move it to the main space. And then Sunday, by Sunday of next week, you're going to have the final done, the team peer review due, all of that by the end of the week. And then it's spring break. All right. So I didn't add it on here um, because it's sort of an auxiliary Part, but I will probably, I probably should add it, is that next week you'll also have the final project due and the final team peer review due. And that's what I'm going to focus on here in this video. So you're going to polish your work. You're going to respond to any peer reviews. Take a look at this editing Wikipedia PDF, these pages outlined. You'll find them very, very helpful. Reach out if you need help. And then take a sneak peek. Take a look at next week. So go look at the timeline for next week because for CIS 136, that's your final for the whole class. And, and honestly, it's most of the points for the wiki project. So it's a pretty huge given how big this project has been. Um, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. But I'm really excited how many people have just like moved right along and asked lots of questions and got stuff done. Anyhow, and in CIS 50, this is your midterm. So when we come back from spring break, things will be different. We're going to go to a totally different format. We'll be back in Moodle for most of the time. Um, we're going to discuss some interesting ideas and some big topics and then begin moving. So what is this week eight stuff? I'm going to jump over there to the timeline just briefly because I want to actually demonstrate. And if you go down to week eight, it's going to say, here's the final biography, like get it done, get it in, all that, right? Video presentation and project reflection. There's a whole section for that. And I'm going to show you the slides and I'm going to show you the form and I'm going to show you the team peer review right now. So the final reflection is the part where you get to explain to me what you learned, what you did, how things went, the big ideas. This is where that all goes. And there's two pieces to it. So I made slides that kind of go over, you know, and the reason I think reflection is such a big deal is because you really don't learn from doing stuff, from experience. You learn from reflecting on that experience. So, for example, you know, when you're a kid and you touch a stove that's hot, right? Somebody says, don't touch it. You touch it anyhow. Yeah, it's hot. That in itself's not like you might do that 20 times if you don't think about it. But if you do it and you think about it and you're like, oh, that was a dumb idea. That hurt. I didn't, that was, somebody said not to do that. That really hurt. I probably should have listened. That's where you learn. That's the learning part. The same thing goes here. All right. So I have a link to the submission form on here. You can jump right to it if you want, but I advise going through the slides and there, there's not very many slides in this slide deck. So we've got the table of contents, the overview, video reflection, written reflection, grading criteria or the class checking in and the grading criteria. I threw up a couple of helpful um, links that you might want to refer, refer to because there's a video part of the project. This two minute introduction assignment that I had you do way back in week one. It's the same idea. 
You're not going to upload to Discord. You're going to upload to Google Drive or YouTube and share the link from there. And so I put that assignment back up just as a reference for you. Um, you know, we spent a lot of time on this. Let's think about what that all meant. All right. So I've got a couple of slides about, you know, the purpose of the project and all of that and how it is divided up. And you're going to have a written, like I said, a written part and a video part. So the video is going to demonstrate, you're going to actually screen share your wiki edu stuff. You're going to screen share um, any resources you might have found particularly useful. Basically, if somebody else looks at this video, it's you telling them what the project was about and what it meant to you, like what you did. They can watch this five to seven minutes long, not very big, and they can watch it and understand what the heck happened. So for the video overview, I give you some suggestions here. Now, um, this is just an intro slide, but the important slide is this one. So if you follow this outline and the suggested timeline, so you've got some timestamps down here, just a suggestion. But it really shouldn't be longer than seven minutes. Like nobody wants a 20 minute video, okay? Keep it short, keep it sweet, but make sure it has enough information. So you're going to have to think about this. Like right now, I've got all my links. As you can see, I've got all my tabs ready to go. I've thought through what I want to say. I've made a couple of notes that you can't see because the post-it note. So I have an idea of the flow of what's going on here. You need to do the same thing for your video project. So you have an introduction. You're going to talk a little bit about your research and how that information came about. Um, you're going to talk about adding and organizing resources, probably your bibliography page the content creation process, the editing process, the peer review process, any achievements like that you felt were, you know, really useful to the project's success. And achievements is not like a gold medal or anything. It's things that you've personally felt like, wow, I didn't think I could do this. And look, I did it. And then a conclusion. And follow that format. It doesn't have to be exact. The time doesn't have to be exact, but it gives you an idea of what to expect. Now, when we jump down to the written reflection, what I've done is I've given you, now what the written reflection should do is go deeper into some questions that you don't have time for in the video. So this is where you really get to think, okay? Um, and I give you, there's going to be six questions about these topics, equity, the roles, reflection, feedback, comparison, and contributions. And I give you some kind of question prompts or what to write about in there. You should probably expect one to two good deep paragraphs for each of these to wrap up your written reflection section. The final piece of this is going to be a checking in. Okay. And so I do these throughout the semester occasionally. You know, what went well for you in this class? What didn't go well in this class? What surprised you the most? What was your favorite part? What could be improved? Do you have any other comments? You know, make this a paragraph or two. Um, Again, answer the questions always on all of these. You know, this is a little more of a formal writing thing. You don't have to have like MLA formatting or anything, but you should use, you know, proper punctuation, capitalization, full sentences, you know, the whole thing. Make sure that you've gone over all of that. I recommend writing these all up in a Google document so you can spell check, grammar check, do all that good stuff, do your editing. And then we get down here to the grading criteria. And there's two main pieces, right? The video and the written. And so I just used the same little map on here because it worked. And so this tells you how many points each section is and what I'm looking for. All right. Effective demonstration of research methods and information gathering. Like each one's got its own thing on the rubric. Down here on the written one, because there's only six categories, um, thoroughness and depth, clarity and organization. So each one's roughly... The main categories are 20 points and then 10 points for grammar and mechanics, 10 points for creativity and insight. Um, so that'll give you an idea of what I'm shooting for. And then we're back to the submission link. This will give you all the information you need. It links back to the slides. And, um, you know, you're just going to give me the link to your video presentation. And it needs to be shared properly so I can actually open it. So make sure you review that if you need to. And then a block for each of those six things I was telling you about, and then a blog for the checking in, and that's it.
but I don't recommend writing it up in here. Like I said, go get a Google Doc, write it all up in a Google Doc, do your formatting, do your editing. If you have more than one paragraph, leave a blank space in between. Don't give me a chunk of text that's, you know, like ginormous. That's really hard to read. So make it easy and make it make sense, okay? Now let's go to the um, peer reviews. So the peer reviews are an interesting thing because, and I mentioned this in the beginning a couple of times, that at the end, I was going to have the teams review each other. And this is an anonymous one. So most forms I send, I give you, you get a copy of it. But because of the private nature of the peer review, this kind of peer review, you're not going to get a copy. But at the end, when you submit, you'll see a notification that lets you know, it'll say, you know, successful submission or something. So if you look for that after you hit submit and you see it, you know that I got it. And you can always check with me. I can tell you if I received it. Because this is in a couple of different sections, you have to go section to section. I'm actually showing you the behind the scenes view so I can just show you the whole thing. But there's really only three parts. So the first part is a personal report out. I Just a couple of questions. You know, how would you rate yourself? What activity did you do? What contributions did you make? What would you do over? You could do it again. Then you're going to go tell me about team demographics, like what group are you in, what worked well, what you know didn't work well, how did you communicate, how did you collaborate, um, what tools did you use, and there's others on all of these so you can add stuff if I don't have it listed. How often did you meet? And that's a little tricky, but you, I don't know. Did you meet in Zoom? Did you guys all meet together on campus? Did you, like, how did you connect? So just give a rough estimate. And then any general comments about how the group worked together. Okay, so that's section two. Now, the third section is going to be specific to your team because that question up there that asked you what team you went to is going to send you to a section specifically for your team because you notice it says section four out of 13. Well, you only have to go to four, right? Because it's going to branch off. These forms are fantastic. If you ever want to know how to use Google Forms, let me know because they are fantastic. And in this section, I've specifically listed people's names. So you've got yourself and the other people on your team. And on a scale of one to five, like, you know, did not participate, occasionally participated, fairly often, very often, always. Rate yourself. Let me know. Um, on collaboration, same thing. Not, you know, would you work with this person again? Not likely, maybe, probably, absolutely. Group one activity. And on this one, what you're going to do is just type in each person's name and tell me what they did. Like, how did they participate? What's your view on that? And then any final comments on that. And once you're done with all that, you, you submit. Okay. So the reason I do this is, that, and it doesn't happen very often, but sometimes it does happen where one person will say, yes, I did all the research and I did all the editing and I, you know, helped everybody and I showed up and brought, you know, cookies and you know, I did all this stuff. And then the other two or three or four people in the group will say, like, they never, we don't even know who they are. They didn't show up. They didn't respond. They didn't do this or that. So this gives me the inside view. And sometimes it's just the opposite. Sometimes there's somebody from the outside that looks like, oh, you know, they didn't really, I didn't see many posts from them. I didn't, you know, see a lot of activity from them. And all the teammates will say, yeah, they were constantly texting us and making sure we hit the deadlines and sending us resources and email and, you know, things that I don't see. So it goes both ways. It helps me see um, the people who didn't really participate well, and it helps me also see the people that on the surface don't look like they participated, but actually did a really great job. So here's the short review. This week, we're going to polish our work. We're going to get it sent to Brianda so that she can give a stamp of approval, hopefully, or maybe a few little revisions. And then next week, we're going to um, get those suckers published. We're going to get them out to the wiki world. And next week, there will be like a video because there are a couple of different ways that could go. <laughs> so hopefully it'll go well. But I'm going to have you a little video so you know what to expect. And then um, you're going to do your peer review. This is a two-week thing. So the peer review and the, the video and written reflections not due till the end of next week. But I hope you can see by me going through this that if you wait until the end of next week, you're going to fail it. And it's a 200-point assignment. So it really, well, 250 because the review is 50 and the written review and, and uh, video is 200. And 
like it's the bulk of the points for the project. So put in the time, ask the questions, you know, do rough drafts, make some notes, do a little planning, get all your links set up and then do a really good job because this is the best part of the project. This is the important part. This is where it's not, you're not just doing, you're thinking about what you did and that's where the learning happens. So I'm excited to see how this all works out. I'm available. I'll be doing a lot of travel in the next two weeks, um, including a 14 hour airplane trip, but I will do my best to be responsive. There'll be a couple of days where I'm, I'm going to be on travel, but other than that, I should be responsive. So have a great week.